My name is Man and this is my speech on Frida Kahlo. Imagine being one of Mexico's greatest artists in a time where many consider more superior. Come with me on this journey and I will let you know all about a woman who left Tijuana with her unique art. Frida Kahlo was born July 6, 1907 in Mexico City, Mexico. All throughout Frida's childhood, she had very poor health and she developed polio at just the age of six. This caused her right foot to grow much thinner than her left foot. She played many sports in hope of recovery, which was sort of unusual at that time for a girl. Her father thought that this would help strengthen her legs so that way she wouldn't lift as much when she walked. She was once traveling on a bus which collided with a car, and this incident left her severely injured. This led to her being on bed rest for over seven months. This is when her love for art really took off. To pass time, she began painting and she even finished her very first self-portrait. Although Frida took some drawing classes throughout her life, she was always more interested in science. In 1922, she entered the National Preparatory School in Mexico City. She was interested in the study of medicine. While she was there, is when she met Diego Rivera, who was working on a mural for the school's auditorium. Later on down the line, they married in 1929, and her family opposed this marriage. Diego was involved in many affairs throughout their marriage, including with Frida's sister. This led to Carlos' famous paintings to be created. They would always separate, but end the board getting back together. She later on had a miscarriage, which was led to her painting called the Henry Ford Hospital. In this painting, she was surrounded by fetus, flowers, and a pelvis, all constructed by Venus. She created these paintings as an expression to demonstrate how she was feeling. Despite going through all these hardships and personal issues, they worked. her work continued to grow in popularity. Frida used her paintings to communicate her pains, as well as her joys in life. They always represented herself and her world around her. Frida always said that she loved to paint self-portraits because she knew herself best. The struggles that she faced, the pride that she felt in her culture, and her fight for women's equal rights were all part of the inspiration behind her art. She always wanted her work her work to represent power, hope, and empowerment. Because of this, she developed a deep interest in self-identity and as a result of her reflections. Frida always expressed her physical challenges throughout her art. Frida's health problems worsened in 1950. She had to stay in bed rest for about a year. She remained persistent in her art, although she was going through these medical problems. Although she had limited mobility, she showed up to an art ceremony by ambulance. Everyone was cheering her on because she was such an inspiration to everybody in the community. She was welcomed by a bed that the gallery had set up for her. And about one week after her 47th birthday, Frida passed due to a pulmonary issue. Even after her death, she is still viewed as an icon of female creativity. Frida will always be known for her realistic paintings and her unique style of letting out her pain that she was feeling. There is no doubt that she was a very strong woman who discovered her talent and did not let her medical issues or personal issues get in the way of that. In fact, it inspired the work. This has been my speech on one of the most inspiring artists on Frida Kahlo. Thank you.